basically like director's commentary. I've been watching a lot of movies with director's commentary lately and thought it'd be pretty cool if I did the same thing for a drawing, so I was digging through my Procreate files and I found a drawing that I think won't get me in trouble with YouTube. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what I'm talking about, at Blackfly Press. I'll be going over my thought process in real time as I work. I like to start with the big forms, if you notice, the uh, ribs and hips and head. Um, limbs, I kind of just throw something on, but I'm not married to it whatsoever. And then I like to start at the bottom, because that's where all the, the load is. And I kind of feel like when you start at the bottom, you kind of give it more gravity um, and weight naturally. Um, and then I like to get into kind of a fleshed out nude, and that moves on to... Um, the more superficial layers. This is my favorite part of the drawing, which is the design problem solving side. Uh, you get to try out different ideas, different looks, things you've seen, things you've been wanting to try, and you kind of just mount them over your anatomy. Next here is the inking phase. I like to start at the face or something kind of cool. Uh, I like giving the, the, the character a kind of an attitude or a look, and I feel that kind of helps to motivate me to finish the thing. I'm a big fan of asymmetry, so a large part of my design is making sure that um, silhouettes are very off-centered, that things are not uh, symmetrical, and I usually bandage up a leg. If someone's not wearing pants, which is a lot of my pinups, then somebody has definitely some sort of bandage on a leg. Uh, I definitely cheated that AK. I traced that right off the internet. Uh, when I'm working digitally, I tend to do that more, less so when I'm working in analog, working on Arsenal. Um, and then you just kind of have fun with it. Here I'm just kind of giving details, adding shade, throwing on tattoos. I'm a big fan of heavy cast shadows. Uh, I don't always do it right, but I always try to throw them in there because I feel they give you a sense of like solid, solidness, I guess. I tend to work from the big shapes to the little ones. If you notice the um, thigh and the cape were some of the first things to be completed. And now here we are rounding out by working on uh, pouches and pocket details and things like that. I usually leave those for last, which can sometimes be a mistake because tend to be tired by then. Um, this about wraps up our anatomy section, and we're pretty much done about here. But then I decided to kind of give it a little bit of background, carve her out with some spray, just to kind of, you know, add a little bit of pop to it. And bam, there you go, just about done. Uh, everybody kind of approaches and solves problems in art in different ways. This is kind of a glimpse into how I do it. I obviously can't squeeze everything into one video, so I'll probably be making more of these with kind of more insight as to how I approach my work. And uh, thanks for checking this out.